Okay, everybody. So just a heads up, we are about to get into the uh, non-gaming, non-nerd, non-feel-good type of stories. We are going to be getting into the uh, geo, into the into the world news, into the U.S. news. This includes political uh, stories as well. So this is your content warning to hop off now if you so desire. Xbox Game Pass is getting seven more games soon, as well as removing seven others. Uh, so what we're going to be getting is going to be Metal Slug Tactics, Go Mecha Ball, Mecha Ball Harold Halbert, The Rewinder. And Turnip Boy robs a bank, as well as Goat Simulator Remastered, which is that's fine. Um, Microsoft Flight Simulator is also coming, and the games that are going to be leaving is Dicey Dungeons, Dungeons Four, the original Ghost Simulator, which I don't know how I feel about that, Like a Dragon Ishin, Like a Dragon Gaiden, The Man Who Raised His Name, Persona Five, Tactica, and Somerville. Assassin's Creed Shadows Boss reveals why the game was delayed. It was recently ingested by Kote, the uh, executive producer, uh, was talking about inconsistency in quality over the years and talked about changing that narrative. He says that they had an opportunity to change the narrative, but for all it would be soft games. Uh, the game just needs to be better. Like we've covered this before broadly, but let's be so for real. It's it's because Ubisoft games are all the same. They are, are all the same. These are games that are ostensibly uh, the same cut and paste mechanics over and over and over again with a different either perspective, like with both a, both a perspective by either first or third person, and just a different coat of paint. Star Wars Outlaws is no different from a fucking Assassin's Creed except for some minor mechanics changes, and that's why it's not popular. It's been 15 years of the same shit. Against PC gaming cheaters, Riot Games investment in the Vanguard is, seems to be paying off. Valorant stood out because of its controversial and integrated cheat system. Vanguard, I want to be real that uh, kernel level anti cheat is unacceptable and not needed. And articles like this are just glorifying uh, gl fucking spyware. Uh, Vanguard has made it difficult for PC gamers to use things such as aimbots or wall hacks. This is partly due to controversial. Con no, it should. It's morally unethical, is what it is, and we shouldn't be fucking using it. Also, kernel level. You know, software is the reason why American Airlines and United and all the other um, airlines in the country, like, crapped out a few months ago because of CrowdStrike. It's because CrowdStrike was kernel-level, you know, security software, and it fucked up millions and millions of computers all across the fucking planet, not just in America. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media Headlines. I am your host. And we're going to get into your top headlines of the day for 11-4-2024. Here's a funny one to lighten, thing up, lighten things up. Cans of fresh air from Lake Como on sale to tourists in Italy. <laughs> for now a communications company, Italy Communica, says it's bottled the very air of Italy's picturesque Lake Como and selling these cans for 11 bucks a piece. <laughs> Each can is said to contain 400 millimeters of 100% authentic air collected from Lake Como, a destination that's increasingly popular with tourists in recent years. So here's my thing. I love this because this is the exact type of product that the only people who would buy it are stupid enough to do so. There's a guy on TikTok who I see selling fresh air, and it's so fucking funny. He just literally just like whirls around in the net, throws it in a, in a bald mason jar, and, like, sells it to morons on TikTok. I love this shit. Like, take, be, feel free to part fools from their money in blatant way. A trial opens in France in the beheading of a teacher over a prophetic prophet cartoon. It's a trial of eight people in Paris on terrorism charges started on Monday over the beheading of teacher Samuel Patty, who was killed by an Islamic extremist after showing caricatures of Islam's prophet to his middle school students on a lesson of freedom of expression. The death left an imprint on France, and several schools are now named after him. He was killed outside his school in Paris on October the 16th by an 18-year-old Russian of Chechen origin who was shot to death by police. Those on trial include friends of assailant uh, Abadulka Anzarov, who allegedly helped purchase weapons for attack, as well as People who are accused of spreading false information online about the teacher and the class proceedings started on Monday in the presence of members of Pate's family, including his two sisters. 
Angry crowds boo and throw eggs at the Spanish king as, he, as floods hit Valencia. The king faced chance of murderer as he visit hard hit Papiora outside Valencia City alongside my, Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and Regional Governor Carlos Mazon, where the locals accuse authorities of lax response to disaster. After they posed for a photo, the crowd began hurling insults at the king, Maison, and Sanchez. The crowd surged forward as security opened umbrellas to try and project them from projectiles. Confronted by one resident, Felipe remained calm and lowered his umbrella to listen to him as police struggled to control those gathered. Queen Lizetta also spoke with furious residents and seemed visibly shaken, holding her head in her hands. Uh, the royal family social media channel released a video of the aftermath of the protest, showing the queen and king embracing distraught residents. One man fell weaving into the king's arm, and another shot the queen seen hungry two women. Propaganda if I've ever seen it. I, I, be known that I'm not a fan of monarchy broadly, even constitutional monarchies such as the one in the, the UK, so I, I'm glad they retreat. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And... Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a food to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have great day.